Hey everyone, good morning, Jay here. Uh, I just want to show some uh, recent kit bashes and some refurbishes that I did to some walkers I have. These are in the three and three quarter scale. Uh, this one is an ATDT. I never had this one um, prior to today and I didn't know it existed. Like I didn't know they had made this actual vehicle, you know, until a couple years ago and I always wanted to see if I could pick it up, but Every time I, I found one online, it was just overpriced. And finally found one that was pretty close to retail, so I was pretty glad to get it cheaply. Uh, it's brand new, out of the box. So I'll go ahead and just unbox it here real quick. Comes with one trooper and has a little bit of like play action to it. Uh, here it is in its packaging, uh, pretty simple. You know, there's not a whole lot to put together. And just some basic cardboard and a couple of little plastic ties. And again, it comes with one trooper. Uh, I thought the trooper was more than five POA, but he's actually just five POA. But it's just a Mimbot Trooper. I think it's what it's called, maybe a Mud Trooper. Um, these are the legs. You can see it's got some additional articulation in the knee and in the, the, the foot as well. Um, I think these are the Troopers from Solo, the Star Wars show, the Star Wars movie. Uh, you just have to attach the, the main cannon to the top, and then this little chair slides in. Uh, there's a ton of detail on this. I would love to go through and, and repaint and and kind of do a custom paint job on this. Maybe I'll do that at a later time. Uh, there's a ton of silver and metal in there that I would love to just touch up. Uh, you can see all the detail right there. It's got a ton of detail. I absolutely love all the detail on this thing. Uh, not crazy about all the screws, but that's okay. Got a ton of paneling even on the bottom. Has that force link thing, but I don't have any of the wrist attachments in order to make the uh, the electronic sound, so I don't know what this thing can sound like. Uh, I guess I gotta look it up online. Um, I want to get into some more of the panel. I uh, absolutely love the way Star Wars vehicles have pedaling. Uh, the feet, I'm actually, the legs, I'm actually pretty impressed that they put these ball joints on there because that means that would be really easy to take apart if you needed to disassemble it for whatever reason, if you're not gonna display it or move or something like that. I wish more vehicles, like the ATSDs, like the bigger vehicles, had a, a I hate that once you put the legs on, you can't take them off. That's just ugh. Because there's so many times when you're you're gonna rotate your displays, things like that. These are really easy just to pop in, just a little bit of force and, and the whole assembly was less than five minutes. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love this vehicle, so I'm glad I was able to finally get it. Um, here it is just with a, the original Kenner ATAST at the top and then one of the newer versions as well as some little chicken walkers from the, the sequel trilogies that I've repainted and I just kind of just a quick size comparison to all of them and it looks really good in the in the display uh, I'd be definitely glad to, to here I was trying to bend the knee thinking it was more than 5 POA and almost almost broke the leg but it's only 5 POA I don't know why it looked, looked like it could articulate but it didn't um, I can't wait to add this to my full display my my at at ATATs. I always call them ATATs. I know some people call them at hats. And uh, the vehicle, the I'm sorry, the driver just slides right in. And too bad it's only a one person vehicle. I would have loved it, it could have been two or three. Uh, it wouldn't have taken much. But it's definitely an artillery piece. And it's something that would kind of hang in the back and just kind of fire from a distance to kind of uh, soften up the, the, oppo the opposing team. Uh, here are the two um, mini walkers that are from the sequel trilogy and these were originally painted in like a jungle green kind of thing and they look great I like them you can get these real cheap online still anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks right now uh, if you're thinking about getting them and now's the time to do it because eventually they're gonna sell out and then they'll like all Star Wars vehicles they'll be priced outrageously in a couple years um, but I just painted them more along the Imperial Grey and they turned out really good Okay, so I also got this shipment from this Galaxy Shipyards. It's a seller in Canada. And I've never ordered replacement vehicle parts that are 3D printed. And so this gentleman uh, modeled and prints these out. And he modeled them himself. And I was really impressed in how good they are, how detailed they are, and how sturdy they are. I bought some other 3D printed stuff in the, back, in the past and just was not impressed. It's too brittle, it breaks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this was pretty sturdy, but what I'm going to do, in addition to it being sturdy already, 
I, and I'm not going to attach anything yet because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to paint a very thin layer of super glue over the whole thing. And if you aren't aware, if you paint super glue onto a 3D printed item, it increases the strength of the item in, like by 20 times. Like it makes it really strong, um, almost as strong as like, like an original uh, piece would be. And I'll probably go ahead and just uh, prime it and paint it as well. Probably just do like an imperial gray. Um, you can see all the little pieces I got. That's the, the under, under armor chest, chest armor. I can't remember what it's called, but it pops in. Uh, but I don't want to pop it in just yet. I'm going to go ahead and, and see if I can toughen it up with some with some thin coat of spray paint. Or a thin coat of uh, um, super glue. And these are just some some basic computer terminals that all the vehicles have. They're always getting lost. So I have a ton of vehicles that are missing these. And what I'm going to do is just going to cast and mold these and make a whole bunch of others because I need I need a bunch of them. I have a ton of vehicles that are missing these, these parts. All right, so here's the finished product of the original Kenner ATST from the 1980s, uh, totally refurbished, and it's got its whole canopy back. It's got its main gun, got its uh, hatch, and it's got the Under Armour chest armor. And you can see I painted it in like an imperial gray. I uh, just used Rust-Oleum paint and just used some Rust-Oleum primer, and I really like how it offsets from the original color. Um, I painted the, the gun to try to match the color of the original guns, so it's a little bit different than the, the hatch and the, and the canopy. But this thing was broken, and now it looks great and fits in with the, with the display. But thank you for watching so much, and hope you have a good day.